Good morning, folks. Today we've got a continued uptick on our star. We see evidence of the coupling down through the atmosphere begin from the geomagnetic storms. We kick a discussion up a notch and more, but first let's get straight to the last 48 hours on our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Let's begin the analysis of the filament eruption and CME from yesterday. Coronagraphs updated a few hours after yesterday's news and the burst clearly will miss us left or behind our orbital position. But there are two other CMEs we note on coronagraphs coming out over the remainder of the day. While neither of these will impact Earth, that makes five or six solid CMEs presenting earthquake coupling potential in the coming days. Looking at SDO, our eyes are up top. Right side burst looks like it came off the far side of the sun, while an area even further off-center from the big filament from yesterday produced a small CME and solar tsunami over to the left. We can use Stereo A from behind the sun to see that far side eruption as well. We did end up taking a bit more geomagnetic instability in the shield last night, so our magnetosphere hadn't quite calmed down as of yesterday morning, and our top quakes were blot echoes for the seismic alerts in South Asia down to the Southwest Pacific. Interestingly though, for our long-term expose of solar energy migrating downward through the spheres, magnetic, ionic, atmospheric, and lithospheric, guess what happened during the last geomagnetic storm event in the final hours of September over on the left? Well, down south in the Atlantic, a triplet of volcanoes went off, producing large ash plumes visible to MODIS in false color infrared. At the same time, on the same longitude, we saw major sprite activity over Hurricane Matthew as it intensified to Category 5 during that magnetic storm disruption. This was likely a coupling event with the ionosphere, and therefore our American watch zones nearby are enhanced as well. All these connections you see every day aren't possible without a greater, simple circuit involved with at least the whole solar system and likely far beyond to the galaxy. Supporting the notion for a micro-scale tweak causing macro-scale rethinks, Dark Matter's days are numbered. In a coming Deeper Look episode, we're going to show you why the proofs in these works apply at the star level as well, not just for the galaxies. They better lace up. By the way, that Japan energy shift is coming as well. Looks like the Earth spot forecasted to go to Northern California is still in there, so both of the location shifts are set to come tomorrow. Don't know what I'm talking about? You don't need to sign up for Twitter to see tweets. You just need to know what Twitter name is posting the earthquake warnings. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.40 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.